Let's get at her. From the Sony Pictures Studios, this is Jeopardy! Here he is, the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trivet. Thank you very much, Johnny. Hey, it's time for Jeopardy! So good luck to all our players. Thank you, Alex, and hello, folks. This is game 65 of my run of Jeopardy 2003 for the PC. My total is 3,099,400. I missed the final Jeopardy last time. Singer. Give me the number. Sports with targets. And the final category is... <clears throat> TV shows. All right, let's get things underway, player one. Give me the number for 200. The sum of the whole numbers from one to five. Player one. What is a uh, 15? Exactly. Give me the number 400. It's the number of bishops on the board seen here at the start of a game. If you'll just watch this, we'll show you the clue. Player two? What is four? Oh, why was I thinking four? Hey, you're correct. Give me the number for 600. Total of the horsemen of the apocalypse plus the traditional number of magi in Matthew's gospel. Player one. What is seven? Precisely. Pick again. Give me the number eight. The number of points on a compass, or the number of permanent teeth in the normal adult mouth. Player one. What is 32? Definitely. Number 1,000. Ronald Reagan is the 40th president, and William Jefferson Clinton is this number. Player two. What is 42nd? Ah. Precisely. Pick again. Let's go for sports with targets for 200. Close proverbially counts in this sport, but a ringer counts the most. Player one. What is horseshoes? Hey, you're correct. Sports with targets 400. Justin Hewish of the U.S. took a bow when he won a gold in this bow and arrow sport at the 1996 Olympics. Player one. What is archery? Exactly. Sports with target six. Now a sport that can include a 10,000 foot free fall to a target. The equipment dates back to 1797. Anyone at all? Player two? What is mountain climbing? No. Not mountain climbing. Anyone? No. What we were looking for... Skydiving. Uh, target's 800. This board center should be 5 feet 8 inches off the tavern floor, and you can stand 7 feet 9 and a quarter inches away. Player one. What is a dart board? Precisely. Pick again. Sports of target's 1,000. Bocce, a target sport from this country, is also known as lawn bowls. Player one. What is Italy? Hey, you're correct. Sweet Adlines, 200. This product claims to be finger licking good. Player one. What is Kentucky Fried Chicken? Precisely. Mm hmm. Pick again. Sweet Adlines for 400. Teddy Roosevelt was the first to remark that this coffee was good to the last drop. Player one. What is, uh... Maxwell House? Definitely. Whew. Sweet Adeline 600. Just do it in these shoes. Player one. What is Nike? Precisely. Pick again. Sweet Adeline 800. If you get a piece of the rock, you'll have this company's insurance. Player one. What is Prudential? Yes. Sweet Adeline's a thousand. 
It's the answer to the advertising question, how do you spell relief? Player one. What is roll aids? Exactly. Singers, 200. This Judd, whose real name is Christina, took her stage name from a line in the song Route 66. Player one. What is Winona? Judd? Yes. Whew. Singers, 400. In her teens, this Queen of Soul toured with the new Bethel Choir as a featured singer. Player one. Who is Aretha Franklin? Exactly. Singer six. Answer. Oh, the Daily Double. <laughs> Could you make your wager, please? Uh, 2,400. She and Bobby Brown have something in common. That was the duet they sang on his 1992 album. Player one. Uh... Who is Houston? Whitney Houston. Hey, you're correct. Whew. Singers 8. This Wayne had a way with and a hit with Donka Shane. Player 2. Who is Wayne Newton? Mm. Precisely. Pick again. Let's try teens in literature for 200. Sonia is a kittenish 15-year-old introduced in book one of this long Tolstoy novel. Player one. What is War and Peace? Definitely. Uh, singer's a thousand. This singer's father, Jose Fajardo, was once a bodyguard to Cuban President Batista. Player three. Who is Gloria Estefan? Oh. Precisely. Pick again. I'd like TV shows for 200. According to the series title, Parcel Delivery Man Doug Heffernan is the king of this. Player one. What is the hill? Oh, that's in. No. Nope. Player two. What is Queens? Oh. Hey, you're correct. TV shows for 400. On Just Shoot Me, he's Dennis Finch, the power-hungry assistant of Jack Gallo. Player three. Who is David Spade? Oh. Exactly. TV shows for 600. Sarah Michelle Geller has a stake in the success of this show. Anyone at all? Player three. What is sex in the city? Ooh, Not no, sex in the city. Anyone at all? What we were looking Buffy for. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I couldn't think of it. I'll try Teens in Literature for 400. In Out of the Dust, Billy Joe relates the story of life in this state's panhandle during the Dust Bowl years. Oh. Three. What is Oklahoma? I would have said Texas. Precisely. Pick again. Teens in Literature for 600? The five-letter title of this 1999 novel refers to what Melinda, the traumatized heroine, was unable to do. Player two? What is speak? Hmm. Definitely. Teens in Literature for 800. A shy teenager named Charlie is the hero of the perks of being this kind of flower. Player one. What is a wallflower? Exactly. Season literature, a thousand. This novel tells us that 16-year-old Esmeralda can dance with rotating swords balanced on her forehead. Player one. What is the Hunchback of Notre Dame? Yes. TV shows, 800. Emmy-winning sitcom featuring Sean Hayes as Just Jack. Anybody? No. Player two? Oh. What is Suddenly Susan? Good answer. Not so Suddenly right. Susan. That's wrong. Anybody? This 
is the correct question. Will and Grace. Here's the last the one. Answer on this board. In 1998, Rick Schroeder joined the cast of this cop drama as Dennis Franz's partner. Player one. What is NYPD Blue? Exactly. Very strong first round for me. Okay, that's it for the Jeopardy round. Now we're going to take a quick look at the scores. You're building up a huge Got a lead. giant lead of 12,800, 1,600 for player two, 1,200 for player three. Gets to start things off in double Jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now time for double Jeopardy. Let's do it. Here are the categories for the double Jeopardy round. U.S. Presidents. By the book. Notice the quotation marks. Weights and measures. That's my weapon. I think I remember that category. And last but not least. That's my weapon. U.S. Geography. Let's go for by the book for 400. Okay. Book that requires a balancing act every month. Player one. What is a checkbook? Hey, you're correct. All right. By the book eight. In a 1958 hit record, the monotones asked, tell me, tell me, tell me, oh, who wrote this? Anyone at all? Player three. What is the book of dreams? Nice try. But Not the book of dreams. Correct. Anybody? Here's what we were looking the for. The book of love. Uh, by the book 12. Steve McGarrett's command to Danny Williams at the end of a Hawaii 5 episode. Player one. What is Bookum Dano? No. Oh. Bad. I gotta have two ends there. Two? What is Bookum Dano? Hey, you're correct. How about. I still think US it should have gave it to me, though. For 400. Over its 2,340 mile course, this river forms the boundary or part of the boundary of nine states. Nobody? What we were looking for was. Oh, it was the Mississippi River. I was thinking it was that. I'll take weights and measures for 400. This linear measure equal to four inches is often used to determine the height of a horse. Player three. What is a hand? Oh. Yes. Weights and measures for 800. A portion of a journey. It's also the part of a relay race. Each athlete has to complete. Player one. What? It, what? It, what is a leg? Precisely. Pick again. Buy the book 1600. In 1962, he led the MGs to a top 10 hit with Green Onions. Player two? Who is Booker T. Jones? Hmm. Definitely. I thought the last name might be Booker. I'll try. That's my weapon. For 400. Sources say this knife wasn't invented by Alamo hero Jim, but by his brother Resin. Player one. What is the Bowie knife? Precisely. Like again. Waste of measures 1200. Answer? Oh! The Daily Double. You make your I think I feel good about this, so I'm going to do it. All of it. It's the term for one full trip around the track. Player one. What is a lap? Yes. Did it. Double my score. <laughs> By the book 2000. This ancient Egyptian collection was literally the chapters of coming forth by day. Is that it? Player one. What is the book of the dead? Precisely. Yep. Like again. Uh, Weights to measure 1600. To the ancient Greeks, a unit of measure called a palm was made up of four of these. Player one. What are fingers? Yes. Whew! Waste measures 2000. 
It's a linear measure in the U.S. or the basic unit of verse. Player three. What is a foot? Ah. Exactly. I like U.S. presidents for 400. In 1896, Woodrow Wilson published a book on this man who was president in 1796. Player one. Who was George Washington? Yes. Okay. That's my weapon for 800. Henry, not Yancey, invented this pistol, and it was imitators who added an extra R to the name. Player one. What is a derringer? Exactly. That's my weapon for 1,200? In 1855, he began mass production of the revolver he first designed out of wood while at sea in the 1830s. Player one. Who is, uh, Colt? Hey, you're Colt. All right. Uh, that's my weapon, 1,600. Answer? Oh! The Daily Double. I think I think I might know the answer to this one already, but just to be on the safe side, thirteen thousand six hundred. Gangsters love to get their hands on this invention of General John Thompson. Player one. I wanted to hold back, and it is what I thought. What is a Tommy gun? Precisely. Yep. Again. I could have gone all in if I wanted to, but I wanted to hold back. Weapon 2000. This shirt maker bought the Volcanic Repeating Arms Company in 1857 and soon controlled the repeating rifle industry. Player three. Who was Winchester? Oh. Hey, you're This correct. one I couldn't remember because I remember seeing this on How the about original words show. For 400. Okay. A collision between cars that causes only minor damage is known by this two-word rhyming term. Player one. What is a fender bender? Precisely. Uh-huh. Pick again. Words eight. Term for the smallest or weakest of a litter of animals. Player one. What is a kitten? Ooh. Nope. Sorry. Player two? What is the runt? Ah! Definitely. Of course. I didn't put two and two together then. Words. For 1,200? Snakes, steam kettles, and displeased audiences do this incessantly. Player one. What is hiss? Precisely. Pick again. Words 1,600. Revenge term for gastrointestinal distress experienced by American travelers to Mexico. Player one. What are, what is ulcer? No, no. sorry. Anyone? Player two? What is the Mexican two-step? No. Not the Mexican two-step. Anyone at all? Take a look. Montezuma's Revenge, of course. I got thrown off. Uh, U.S. Geography 8. This lake is the largest body of fresh water lying entirely within the USA. Nobody? No. Nope. This is what Lake we Michigan. Let's try it again. U.S. Geography 1200. Colorado's Mount Elbert in the Sawatch Range is this mountain system's tallest peak. Player one. What are the Rocky Mountains? Definitely. U.S. Geography 1600. Francisco de Ortega is credited with discovering the Golden Gate, the strait leading into this city's bay. Player one. What is San Francisco? Precisely. Pick again. U.S. Geography 2000. Padre Island is this state's largest. Player one. What is Texas? Correct. Yeah. You certainly know your geography. Fifty grand already. Words 2000. Word in common to an NFL title game and a whammo bouncing toy, both debuting in the 60s. Oh. Player three. 
What is super? Precisely. Oh, of course. Pick again. I'd like U.S. presidents for 800. The plane he used for his 1960 presidential campaign was named Caroline. Player three. Who is John F. Kennedy? Hmm. Hey, you're correct. U.S. presidents for 1,200. After a plea from his son, Abe Lincoln was the first to give a presidential pardon to one of these birds. Player one. What is a turkey? Precisely. Pick again. 1,600. He's nicknamed the father of the Declaration of Independence. Player one. Who was Jefferson? Definitely. And the last one? And to wrap up this board, the first U.S. President Mao Zedong received on an official state visit was this man in the 1970s. Player two? Who was Richard Nixon? Hey, you're correct. Ah, Richard Nixon. That's the end of the Double Jeopardy round. Let's check out the scores once again. Player one, you've got the lead going into Final Jeopardy. 52,800, 7,600 for player three, 5,600 for player two. Time now for Final Jeopardy. I'll show you the category and give you a few seconds to think about your wager. Scandinavian, Scandinavian cities. cities. Go ahead, make your wager. Player two, your wager, please. Player three, could we have your wager, please? Player one, please make your wager. I'm not going to go too big, so I'm going to go for 2,800. I'm Here's just going to go small. Jeopardy answer. Good luck. Thank you. World capital where Ingrid Bergman was born in 1915. What is Stockholm? Again, I'm trying to be a little less dependent on the clue history site, but that doesn't mean I'm going to chuck it entirely. Let's see how everyone did. Player two. Helsinki. Oh, sorry. Not Helsinki. Correct. How much did it cost you? Fifty-six hundred. Player three. Burn. Your question. That is no correct. What was your wager? Seventy-six hundred. You're down to zero. No question. I said one. Stockholm, that's and that's hey, right. Well done. And your wager was twenty-eight hundred for fifty-five thousand six hundred. Now I'm back to the uh, even numbers. To the big winner here today on Jeopardy. Player one. Fifty-five six today. Thanks for playing Jeopardy. Come back and see us again real soon, won't you? Bye, Alex. Hi, folks. I'm Johnny Gilbert. Let's just take care of a little business, then we'll get to our game. So let's take a look. Check out your stats. 65 wins, 3,155,000. And 65 wins. So, a win of $55,600 in this game certainly made up for what happened in the last game where I kind of should have, where I guess you could say in a way I was right, but I guess the game didn't rule me correct. But, oh well, a win's a win, just like this one. But I got to tell you, that had been a, a solid performance for me. I like to think I was very much less dependent on the Clue History site. But again, it's my channel. I can do what I want. So, it doesn't really matter. So, anyway, 55.6 today. Over $3.1 million. And I will do my best to get to $4 million as soon as I can. So... 
thanks guys, and remember, subscribe, and I'll see you all for game 66.